If there's one thing I like more than fabricating is destroying stuff. Hey guys, welcome back. This week on the EVC 10 build, we're gonna be working on the outriggers for the roll cage. This is gonna give us a mounting point later on when we actually build the cage to tie it into the frame. But our frame's a little narrow, so we're gonna be doing some outward blocks that the cage goes to. The next up on the dock is we have to make the frames and all the mounting points for our new state of seat. So we need a base frame and then another frame where we can actually adjust the seat inside of the cap. Now, originally we we're gonna stay with the stock firewall, but we decided with what we've got going on in here and how we wanted the outlook of the interior, we're just gonna cut the whole thing out. So the next part is cutting the whole firewall out, designing a new bead roll firewall that's gonna take its place that's flat and smooth and a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. It's gonna make the whole look totally change. We got a lot to do, let's get to it. So I'm making these outriggers, which you'll see here are cut very basically out of these squares, but I'm gonna go in and trim them all up. So Timmy is an absolute champion. He's been helping me clean up all the insides over yeah, here. Yeah, I had to stop what I was doing, Johnny, in the back to help you in the front. Oh, jeez. I'm out of here. He's out, Tim's done, he's cooked. But on a good note, he helped me out. We cleaned everything up. Those brackets that I made are gonna come in here. Bingo blango on the frame. I'm gonna square it off and then weld this whole thing into the frame. And this is gonna be our outrigger for the cage. The cage is actually gonna come straight down here to this, weld it in. And then from there, we'll make some filler pieces. So it'll be welded twice through the support and then through here. So I'll tie everything together. Then we'll do some cross bracing. This whole piece is starting to get tied together. God forbid stuff does happen. We have a race that the thing rolls over. All that pressure from the cage is gonna come straight down to the frame, the strongest part of the car. So it will help protect our heads, whoever's racing it so we don't get crushed. Now that we got the outriggers welded in, we can move on to project two for the day. We got the floor loosely cut, right? We have to go ahead and measure for these stasis seats. We have to make brackets that bolt to the bottom of this and make a slider mechanism so we can slide back and forth and then duplicate it for the other side. And then we'll use these bottom rungs down here and fill it in to make the brackets for the seat itself. Let's show them the magic. Tight. All in there. So once we make the brackets in space, we'll know where to lay them down when we get to see comfy. We have to get a laser and figure out where the column's gonna go and use that to base it off the center line for the seat. We measure the inside, the center line of it, and the width where we're gonna make our base. Then we need something to go off of. So we, we stole this column we had here in storage and I make some jimmy brackets just to hold her in. And once we got her centered in there, we put the laser and then we found our actual center line right here. So now knowing the base and width of the seat, we know where we want to put it. We know where we have to put the rails. So at this point, I have to go start making tabs for the seat. I'm going to start laying some rails down. Then we have a bolt pattern to put the seat on and we're tied right to the chassis. So when we're ripping wide open throttle down the track or autocross, the seat has no chance of physically coming off. They're all cut out. We got four for two seats total. So now the process is cleaning them, finishing them, sanding them. Then we're gonna build the tabs and brackets to hold everything together. We got four slots each, plus three for each one. So what's that, 32 options we got here? All right, we got the seat tabs made and we're sitting a little low. So uh, here's what we have to do. Well, we're building a box here now. And that's gonna be to raise us up our eight and a half inches to get us kind of comfy. Here I have the two side pieces that are gonna be the base of the box. Now I'm gonna pop those speed holes out, bead roll it, and we're gonna have ourselves a little box. Alright, so you guys saw me build the outer shell for the seat boxes. Now we actually get to make the box itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some one by one inch square tubing on the inside and make a frame. Look at that. So Timmy welded it all up after I cut it and prepped it. So now we have one of the seat boxes. Now it's time to figure out how we're gonna mount to the floor. So this thing is gonna be extra structural, extra durable, how much power this thing's making. So we're gonna do three tabs off this, and then I'm gonna make rungs in the bottom of the floor for this to actually bolt to. So 
So we built the seat brackets, I built the tabs for the seat. I'm gonna actually gonna put some inner frame rails here that are bolted in the bottom. So I'll take all this out, make a structure and put some bolts coming out so this whole thing will drop down. We got us up a real hot setup here, boys. All right, so the new seat tabs are in. She's all aligned, the height looks awesome. So now it's time to move on to the firewall. If there's one thing I like more than fabricating is destroying stuff. So I'm gonna destroy this firewall for a minute so we can rebuild it back up. Then I gotta remove this, I don't even know what this ugly piece is, but it held the steering column and a bunch of other little trinkets that we're not gonna need. We're gonna make a nice fresh piece and I'm gonna go in here and design something a little bit more flashy. We're absolutely shredding over here. So we cut the old firewall out, and then we got the 16 gauge and cut a very, very generic square. Now, you're gonna go in here, do a little trim, follow the contour of the body lines. And then from down here, we're gonna do some sort of a funky break. And that'll be the start to our floor. So we got Mr. Rolls in the house. He is super creative and artistic. So I asked him to help me out with the design of the bead roll. Hi guys. So the bead roll is gonna give us some structural integrity, but also make it look pretty slick. So it's not just one big bland piece. So we got the, the firewall all cut out and then I actually have to break a piece, but before we break it, we have to do the bead roll because it won't fit. So I sliced the old girl in half. So we have two separate parts to work with in the bead roller. So we're gonna copy this, template it over, do this side and bead roll both pieces. And we're gonna do a little curmudgeon over here around the hole I made for the steering column. And we're gonna be jiving here. All right, so all our little pieces that we've been making, uh, a couple extra ones here, we got a little shield to cover this big old hole, which we might keep or might not. The boys want the dimple dies. I love it, but we might have to do another one with some bead roll. So let's get the seats in and then we get Mikey over here and see how he likes the height and see what he thinks about the firewall. All right, guys, so we got the outriggers in. We got the custom seat base and seat mounts made, so now we can adjust it. And I made all this to Mikey's height. So what do you think, Mike? Oh, it's feeling good. Thank God you made it a little adjustable. That way, if, if someone else is sitting in the truck, we can put it up and down. <laughs> For short, guys. Yeah. Uh, Mikey killed it with the design of the firewall. That's in, but it's just Clico because you have to pull it back out. Yeah, because next week, you guys will see on the episode, Timmy's going to 3D scan the entire subframe so we can get all that data over to KW and get some custom coilovers made. I dig it, man. Yeah, so nice. close. Hey, guys, thanks for subscribing. Hope you're enjoying the episodes. We'll see you guys later.